So I wanted to show you something incredible. So this client came to me a month ago and her nails looked like this. We used Cindy Shellac Oxblood and this is how her nails looked after a month. So today we removed Shellac and I did a manicure and used Dior Nail Glow. Again, this is her nails a month ago and this is today. This is the other hand before, after Shellac application, after a month and now before and a month later. Okay, so this is a month old shellac manicure. I'm actually shocked that it lasted this long, but it did. So today we're going to be removing this and just doing a manicure and doing a clear nail polish. So first I'm going to be explaining what I'm doing step by step. So I like using pure acetone for the removal. And this foil here is a little flimsy. So this is why I like to use the little clips on top of that. And the reason why I don't like to use the clips by themselves is that I find that the product, the acetone evaporates very, very quickly. So I like to still wrap them. And I think this helps with the heat as well. So this, this way it's the best. The foils that I used in Canada were a little bit more uh, stiff and they held a little bit better. So the clip actually puts some pressure on the nail too, so everything is kind of held together a little bit better. So now, Shellac recommends to CMD, uh, recommends timing the removal from when you from when you finish the wrapping but I think that's a little inconsistent because everybody has a different time when it comes to wrapping different speed of wrapping so I like to usually start timing um, at the very beginning when I start wrapping the nails and then I just add a couple minutes, maybe. So the regular top coat, because CNG has three top coats, actually now four. And the top coat here was the original top coat. Actually, I have to go back. I think it was the original one. Because normally I use the original one. And so they have Express 5, which is good for dark colors and very strong nails and it soaks up in five minutes. Then they have the original one, which is good for like normal nails. And it soaks up in eight minutes. And then they have DuraForce, which is a thicker top coat and it's supposed to give the nails a little bit longer wear. But I really didn't find that it made a difference. And it's also much thicker so I found that after using it for a little bit, the product just got very thick and it was not very usable. So I just don't, I don't like using it too much. And then they have the fourth one now. They have the, the wipe free top coat and I've used it to, to apply the powders, the, the shimmers, whatever you call it. And it works very well but I don't really use it on a regular basis. And also it doesn't come off very easily. I had issues with the removal process. It's not very fast to remove. By the way, the Dura Force takes 15 minutes to soak. And then the new one, actually, I don't know what CMD says, but I think it's like Dura Force. But I've heard actually nail techs telling me that they just basically remove the shine from the top coat and then it removes better. I don't know how I feel about that. The shine removal, I guess it's possible. Okay, so they are wrapped. It took me like really actually probably four minutes or so. So now I'm going to, this is a heating pad. 
actually. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put some weight on it as well. Uh, I don't have a microwave here at the studio. Um, back in Canada, I had a microwave. So you can actually warm up these heating pads as well in the microwave for two minutes or so and then just apply it. This is like the electric heating pad. So this is what I use now. It's been 10 minutes now. So now when it comes to the removal, um, sometimes you see that CND shows that the removal is amazing, like it comes off in one piece. And that is only the case from my experience when the polish is freshly applied. So for example, you apply the gel, the polish, the, the gel polish. You apply the gel polish and then right away you go to soak it off and it's going to come off in one big piece. Well, they call it butterfly effect or something. But when the client has worn it for, I think, at least a week, it comes off very differently, as you can see here. I mean, it comes off really, really well, but it doesn't come off very clean because you still have to just kind of uh, rub off the base coat. But there is really nothing else like this on the market when it comes to removal, other than Manicurist. Manicurist is a brand, French line of gel polish. Yeah, it's a gel polish. Comes off very, very well. But it's kind of closer to a nail polish than it is to gel polish. So I think I used the Express 5. It's been so long I actually forgot. At the end of the video, I'll let you know because I made a video of this manicure, which actually this video is on Patreon already, the full video. At this point, I actually push back the skin a little bit. And you see I'm doing this sideways just because I don't want to get underneath that skin and harm the nail. So I don't go in like this because you can actually hurt someone. So just sideways like this. Very gently. So now I'm going to leave the thumb because thumbs usually take a little bit longer to soak off. So I'm going to leave it and do this hand. All of this that I'm pushing back is living skin. That's not a cuticle. The cuticle is this white part that you see here. That is like the most confused thing about nails, I think. Always tiniest amounts of base coat that are stuck to the nail. 
So I go back and scrub it with acetone. Acetone. feeling that the nail beds like the pink part has extended a little bit since the last since the first manicure I'm going to compare it later Okay, so the removal took me exactly like 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna use electric file to shorten the nails. You can definitely do it by hand. But it's easier this way. Okay, on to the shaping. So I'm going to explain how I do this. So I get underneath here without like really pushing the file in there, just to smooth this area. And I usually like to follow the shape of the nail bed. Usually that's what looks best. So not nails. So I'm not trying to make the nails too square because I find square nails like very square nails, although they're popular. I um, mean, people like that look, but they usually don't last as long because the corners get in the way. So I find this shape is the strongest. And I don't know why, but I think after, when people wear nail polish for a while, 
gel polish or even clear coat. The shape of the nail changes a little bit. So I made a video of the initial shaping that we did four weeks ago. So I'm going to compare if the shape has changed a little bit. I have a feeling it has changed. what I do is I, I shape or I file this side first and then I match the other side so I imagine a line running through the nail to make sure that they are as close as possible and I'm looking at the free edge so I'm looking at this end. I'm not looking at the shape of the nail bed Sometimes if you don't know if you're doing the right thing, turning the nail this way helps as well to see if they're even. And sometimes turning the client's hand this way and looking at the nails from here helps if you're unsure. Perfect, so these, are, these ones are done. So now we can see that this nail bed has a slightly different shape, which is normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape this side first, and then I'm gonna match on the other side. I'm not gonna follow the shape of the nail bed because then the nail would be uneven. And sometimes you just have to kind of go back and forth and tweak it. So 
Sometimes pointing the nails down helps as well. Because you want to see the nails from different angles. Because that's how people see their nails, right? Okay, so now I'm going to just go back and push back that living skin, explain what I'm doing. So it is important to know the difference between the living skin, which is what I'm pushing back now. So I'm not pushing back the cuticles. I'm just pushing back the living skin. Gently, because you don't want to be shoving this tool underneath skin because this is area that is very very sensitive this is where the nail is growing so you don't want to be causing any inflammation or any trauma so if that skin is very very stuck some people are dealing with with that um, what I would suggest is using a very good hand cream or using carousel which actually is a foot cream but it's very very good for hard stuck skin so use that for a week or two without doing any manicure and then that skin is going to be much more healthy much more elastic and it's going to be much easier to nudge it back I'm going to use erica's bit And I'm going to use it on low speed. This is 8,000. So normally with different machines, with a machine that's stronger, I would use, I'm going to, I'm going to go for nine. With machine that is stronger, you can actually do this at 5,000 RPM because it does not slow down. This machine is, is not as strong. So it slows down a little bit when you put pressure. But you know what? If you're a beginner nail technician and you're learning the dry manicures, Sometimes, you know, using this machine is not a bad idea either because it kind of teaches you where, you, when you're putting just a little bit too much pressure. So during this step, I remove the cuticle from the nail plate 
and I'm just gonna go in over the hardened skin around the nails to just freshen it up a little bit. I'm not trying to remove dry skin and I know I repeat myself a lot but we have a lot of new viewers and people are still asking these questions so this is why I'm answering them. We can't fix dry skin by filing it. So what I'm filing is hardened skin. skin just to freshen it up and then the dry skin has to be taken care of by the client. And just because the skin is dry, it doesn't mean that we should cut it off because that's not how you fix things either. Okay, so you see this is a little bit hardened. It's very tempting to pick up. So this is a really nice tool. you can really go they were precisely in this area so again I show this manicure to show you what I do but if you're doing your own manicures and um, if you're wondering if you need electrophile or not you don't if you take care of your skin on a regular basis and if you do manicures weekly then you're not gonna need this so my needs here at the salon are quite different from the needs of someone who's watching and wants to learn how to take care of their own nails. You don't, you don't need this. The machine is it's a great tool, but also can cause a lot of damage in untrained hands. You need to develop a very, very light touch. You should never think of the machine as being used for speed. It's used for precision and not for speed.
Okay, so now I'm going to just make sure that there is no base coat left on the surface of the nail. So I'm going to use this very fine buffer, but I'm going to do this very, very lightly, very, very gently. I'm not trying to go over the whole surface of the nail. Just when I, I just do it where I need it. Because if there is any base coat left, it's going to show through the coat of nail polish. It's going to look grainy. And you always have to be careful with the buffer blocks because buffing nails is never good. But sometimes you have to do this just to clean off the surface or sometimes to remove the shine because if the nails are very shiny, then nothing will stick to it. And what I like to do also is just to smooth the free edge a little bit. Just so it feels good. And now, of course, this is going to make the nails look, and the skin around the nails, drier. But this is very temporary. And when the skin is dry around the nails, um, or when there was no water kind of um, obstructing the view, I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So, so some preps have water in them or some kind of a moisturizing agent which makes the skin look better but I find it's easier for me to polish okay my favorite Dior nail glow and we're just going to do one coat because the thing is when the bottle is a lot older so when the polish is a little bit thicker the polish has a uh, leaves a more shiny kind of finish when it's brand new sometimes you need two coats but it really depends. One coat looks really good too. minutes to try and we're done okay so this is two minutes nice and dry and now we are. 
And I think I'm going to show this in each video and I'm going to also tell this to clients, show it to clients, because very often we just assume that people know everything and people don't know everything. So I'm going to show you in a second how much oil actually you should be using each time because you should be using much less than I'm using right now. But right now, because the nails were wiped with alcohol and acetone and all that stuff, so a little bit of more oil to soak in everywhere is fine. But you don't have to do this every time you apply oil because then the hands are too, too greasy. So here's what I do. I show people, clients, that you just take one drop like this, one drop like this. You don't have to be perfect. This is all you have to do. And then if it still feels a little greasy, then you just wipe it off with a towel because whatever you need in your skin, it's already there. You don't have to have a lot of oil on your skin in order for the oil to be very, very effective. So I recommend using the oil after each hand wash. And I know it's a lot, but when you think about it, you know, the detergents really strip the skin of all the oils and oils is what keeps the skin cells together. So the dry skin around the nails, the dry skin um, on the hands, it's just basically not dead skin. It's just, it's a living skin, but it's broken down skin. So it's really, really important to be very gentle, not to scrub it too much. And I know there is this trend right now with all these scrubs and everything else, and scrubbing is not very good for the skin. So be very, very gentle with the skin. I wouldn't suggest using scrubs. Repairing the skin barrier is much more important then scrubbing it and with the lotion i'll show you too how much i use so the best thing to do is to have a little bottle of oil a little hand lotion near your sink and making the the oil application and the lotion application part of your hand washing really and that makes a huge huge difference in how the skin and the quality of the nails is as well.